If you are a beginner, leader, or follower who needs help urbanizing your Saidas, this video is for you. If you are an intermediate level dancer or higher who wants to take the musical variations of your Saidas to the next level, this video is also for you. And just to let you guys know, we're going to get pretty nerdy in this dance video, so make sure you have on your thinking caps. Let's go. Hey y'all, welcome to another video. This is part two of the Level Up Your Saida series, where I'm breaking down an approach towards adding musical variations to your Saidas. If you've already watched part one, then you already know the spiel of how I'm breaking this up into four parts. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you find value in this video, please, please, please like the video. It definitely helps spread and helps grow the channel. I greatly appreciate it. Let's go. Moving along this family of Saidas, the next one was a 62. So in my early days of dancing and teaching kids, I noticed that really musical dancers, pr primarily Felician and Albir, I noticed that they slowed down at key parts of the followers Saida as it felt with the music, yeah? And I also noticed that it varied based on which foot they were on, yeah? So. Like I said, the, the gist of these is for you to be super musical on either foot, which overlaps with the technique of ambipedal dexterity. Yeah. So remember in the framework that we talked about is we have to indicate what musical timing we're on. What is the sequence of the step that we're dancing on? In this video, we're talking about Saida's and then how long are we staying on that particular step? Yeah. So to paint the picture for the 62s, we're going to do a 62.1. Uh, so the first step of the Saida is going to be slowed down for two counts, and that's going to follow in with the first count of the eight count musically. Yeah, first count musically. Sequentially is also the first step of the well, follower Saida. And musically is going to last two counts. And that looks something like this. One, two. Three, four, five, and six. So key note here, the 53s, we did it our marca on what count? Five, yeah? And where are we now? We're on this sixth count, yeah? And so from this particular point, all of our 62s are gonna have the marca on the six. Six plus two equals eight. And now we have two counts left to complete the eight count. And since we are in drill mode, not in application of the social dance floor, we need to get ready to do this again on the first count musically again. Yeah. So since we don't have three steps here, it's very simple. We just walk forward on the left for the lead, walk forward on the right for the lead. And obviously that'll be backwards for the follower. And now we can just continue walking and I'll just do another 62 on the one. One, two, three, four, five, six, and lather, rinse, repeat. One, two, three, and four, five, six, and seven, eight. Yeah, so that's a 62 on the one. Notice that the marca is always on the six with these, yeah? And like I mentioned before, when I was watching way back then, Felician and Albir and Enuel, I will see them dancing and I'm studying their videos, right? And then I see like, oh, he did a Saida, but there was a vocal that matched that particular footwork, so they slowed down. And there really wasn't any rhyme or reason of the footwork. Sometimes it was on the first count, second, third, fourth, fifth. So how do you practice to become more musical with each of those along the Saida? 62s, one through five, yeah? so. Let's go ahead and show you each of those. We're going to sequentially slow down a step of the Saida within the first five steps of the follower Saida, and we'll do this sequentially. I'll put it up on the screen so you guys can follow along. We just did the first count. I'm sorry, the first step of the Saida. Now we're going to go to the second, third, fourth, and fifth, and so on and so forth. And I'll call these out, and you should be able to see this on the screen as well to follow along. So we have, we'll start with the one for the sake of the video. Five, six, and seven, here we go. One, two, three, and four. Marca on six, seven on the two. One, two, three, four, and five. 
six, seven, eight on the three, two, three, four, and five, six and seven, let's go, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, and four, five, six, and seven, eight. So there we had several Saida variations that slowed down different steps of the Saida sequentially as far as the steps of the Saida, but musically they opened up different uh, opportunities, yeah? Like I mentioned before, in this particular case, I feel like it's really important to indicate the musical counting and where the steps also slow down, in this case, match. But on the dance floor, when we get into the application, those things can vary depending on when we start the Saida and what musical element that we're trying to isolate with that slower tempo step, yeah? And going back to what's available for the follower to be aware of, we mentioned following the leader and being clear and being light on your axis and things of that nature. So you have to own your dance. In addition to that, the second thing that you need to be aware of is following the cue points of what's going on with the leader and the communication through the touch and softer touch and softer intentions, yeah? So those are two mind uh, sets to be aware of, or two spheres of awareness. And the third one is going to be in the music. Hopefully through deducting the communication between the lead, owning your own self and your dance, also the musical patterns will give you some clues and insights into how the weight transfers and tempos are also factoring into the dance, yeah? so. This is why we are huge advocates of follower technique. Followers do not just follow the skill of following, it's a phenomenal skill set because there's so much that you have to be aware of. So just something to be aware of as we continue for followers. All right, so the next family of Saidas that we're going to talk about here is going to be the 44. So now instead of slowing things down, we're going to be speeding things up. So again, in regards to the videos that I was seeing, I would see a follower Saida executed in different ways to match the musicality in different points, yeah? Again, Albier, Felicien, Edouel, this is back in the day, but these are things that I noticed and like, hmm, what's going on here, yeah? So we can syncopate different parts of the follower Saida. And again, distinguishing the musical counts and then the sequence of the steps that we're dancing on, yeah? I'm gonna go ahead and show you the three variations of the 44 all together here. I'll go through it once musically, and then I will explain the sequence of the steps, and then we will go and talk about the ending of the 44s to order to create a drill in order for you to level up your saidas, yeah? All right guys, so the 44 on the one is going to look like this. One and two, three, four, yeah? The 44 on the second step of the Saida will look like this. One, two, and three, four, yeah? And the 44 on the third step will look like this. One, two, three, and four, yeah? So in each of those, you saw that we started the syncopation on different steps of the side along the way. So it was the 44 on the one, 44 on the two, and 44 on the three, yeah? And again, these are drills. So let's go ahead and now talk about what's gonna happen afterwards. If you notice with these 44s, the marker is happening on four this time. On the 53, we had a marker on the fifth step and a marker at the end of basic three on the third step, yeah? With the 62, we had a marker on the sixth step and there was no marker on the 62 afterwards because we just walked right into the new Saida. And with the 44, we did a syncopation and we stopped with our marker on the four now. Yeah, so now you can see kind of like the, the, the first step of 53, 62, and 44 is also indicating when the marker in the Saida happens musically. So now we have four counts left to get back to the one. So to finish off and eat up those four counts that we have at the end of the 44, we actually have two options. 
So we can go through, let's do a 44 on the one and we can do kind of what we did in the 53 with basic three, 90 degree version. So one and two, three, four, we could go five, six, seven, eight, new Saida. Yeah. So that was me slowing down the first count of the first step of basic three on musical count number five. And of course I can do that in the essence of what we're doing today of like applying different musicalities to different steps. I could also do that on the second step of basic three and the third step of basic three. So in the scope of a 44 on the one, that will look like this. One and two, three, four, five, six and seven, eight, one and two, three and four and five, six, seven, eight and one and two, three and four and five, six, seven, eight, one. Yeah, so in terms of options to do what we did in the 53 with the basic three, we have that option, yeah? If you don't want to focus on changing directions, we could do what we did in the 62s, which is continue to walk forward, but just take longer, slower steps. Let's do a 44 on the three and demonstrate that. That will look like one, two, three, and four, five, six, and seven, repeat. One, two, three, and four, and five, six, and seven, eight, yeah? So in that one, we're not changing 90 degrees, but we are just taking those two steps slower in order to be ready for the one to initiate a new Saida, which is the goal when we are in drill mode, yeah? We have not talked about application to the social dance just yet, but we're about to right now. Right before we get into that, I do want to talk about since we are syncopating at different points sequentially through the scope of a Saida in this video, and we only have two feet, yeah? So it's either going to happen on the left foot or on the right foot. Like Sarah was mentioning before, we do end up with a more dominant foot. Uh, with our basic one, first step is left for the lead. For our basic threes and our Saidas and our men's Saidas and all those kind of things, we get used to starting a lot with our left. So this gets more action, if you will, as far as initiating things, yeah? And in the same way for the followers, your right foot. That is what ends up being the initial part for so many steps. Mm -hmm. So in the spirit of embedded dexterity, it's going to be important for us to realize that the, the left foot for the follower and the right foot for the leader, which is our non-dominant foot, which could be different from your own personal thing. You might be right-handed, left-handed, left-footed, right-footed. Um, that's a whole different situation. Um, but in the dance, we got to get used to using that on the other side. So with the 44s, it will be with the 44 on the two that is going to be starting and ending a syncopation on the non-dominant foot. Yeah. So we go one and then now we're about to start a syncopation, but I'm starting that syncopation with my right as a lead and she's starting a syncopation with the left as a follower. So we just took one step and then we would go boom, boom, boom. And then we also have to get used to slowing down that syncopation uh, in order to finish it, yeah? I feel like it's gonna be so much more common for us to syncopate on the right side for the follower and on the left side for the lead just because that's how we're used to initiating the dance, yeah? Something to be aware of. And for the 62s, that will happen on the 62 on 62.2 and the 62.4. Yeah, both of those are going to end up on the opposite side. So I'll do that facing this direction. We have one, two, three. Again, followers left, leaders right. And we can go ahead and finish our 62. Or we could go 62 on the floor. One, two, three, four, five six yeah opposite leg non-dominant foot so again this is just showing why we are creating these drills in order to get these things in your system so that way when you're all dancing on the dance floor you're not thinking about all this anymore you're thinking about hitting those elements in the music and that's where your brain 
and your spirit and your connection with your partner should be focused on in that particular moment, not about what dominant foot that you're on, yeah?